All right, so getting ready for Unbound, this is some important homework that I am going to be doing this morning. Let's check it out. All right, so I'm going to superimpose the 560 kilometer or 350 mile course onto this atlas uh, into this atlas map. So of course I'm not going to bring the whole thing. I will be tearing out the pages and um, uh, Mac tacking them and bringing them with me so that I can get a full picture of the course. Okay, so why would I be doing that? Well, I did this last year and I found that carrying a visual with me was really important and not to mention that um, if anything were to go wrong, I have the full map with me <laughs> and um, there are certain spots where we're stopping and then there are certain really long stretches. So seeing what's in between those long stretches, like, I mean, I mean, 180 kilometer long stretches uh, between stops. So and there's 20,000 feet in elevation of climbing. So not that this is going to tell me much, but I can also see uh, more of the inclines, like the ridges on here. So I can kind of get a little bit more of a feel. So let's go and do this together. So as you can see, it's going to take me a long time to put this together because like I was so nervous just doing this to start because you want to get it right. Not that I'm going to be following this, but and I do have my Garmin um, and I do have um, a battery pack so to keep my Garmin charged. Uh, but it's just so important, but you see how many turns there are and how important it is to be following, um, the course, because for the Excel, um, we are literally on our own. So we have to have everything that there's no signs, there's no support there's, um, so I have to carry all my food and all my water. Uh, so these things are. I'm just on my own until the finish or until I, uh, you know, until, you know, you've, yeah, until I finish, right. And I'm going to be finishing. So for this, it's just, it feels more important to me. Um, it gives me a sense of insurance. Um, I'm going to put little pictures, I think in here of my kids so I can look at them and they don't get ruined. So it's one of those things that I'm just going to carry with me. That's going to be, um, I don't know, a big sense of support. So um, whenever you do one of these long races, I always recommend um, getting the big picture on the map, like in front of you. So you can pick it up literally all the time and just sort of look at it. And then you can kind of visualize yourself doing it. So when you do one of these long events, this is my recommendation. I used to venture race for... Uh, six years, really hard. Uh, my longest adventure race was in Utah, um, and it was eight days long. 
Um, so 36 hours on a bike isn't very long when you think about it. Um, but adventure racing is nice because you get to switch it up between biking, paddling, and sometimes you are spending this much time on one discipline. However, the point is, is that to make it feasible in one's mind is to be able to chunk it up to small segments right? You don't look at the big picture. The big picture is way too overwhelming. You look at the first section, then the next section, then you're so like, I can do 80 K I can do a hundred K I can do 120. I have done 180. And then once the 180 sections done, then you're off to the finish line. So it's things like that, that like you roll around in your head and you make it doable for yourself as a competitor in things like this. So the thing is there's 207 people racing this year. Only 27 are women. Okay, last year about 197 people made it to the start line and um I think like between 30 and 40 people finished, like finished. I finished. Um, I was told that my race was done because I missed a time cutoff at the last checkpoint. And uh, so I only had 60 K left. So you think about it in the grand scheme of things, 60 K wasn't very much to continue riding and I should have finished it regardless of when I finished. Um, any case, there's lots of climbing in this one. And um, so it's just, it's about managing your uh, fuel, your, your water, and your energy output. Because, you know, climbing, lots of climbing. And uh, yeah, anyways, so I just want to share with you, this is like a very, really key part. Uh, for me in this event and um, of course the rest is like your gear your bike um, and then your mental state right <laughs> and how you're preparing and getting yourself to the start line so I just wanted to share that with you um, get it done I've got to get it done so I'm gonna stop this video because I've got so many other things to do today uh, before uh, one o'clock when I leave uh, for my uh, to ride to the city uh, I'm doing some volunteer work and then I'm gonna join a group ride and then I'm gonna ride home and uh, it's gonna be a long day <sighs> yeah and I get to get to Costco this morning so that's why I need to finish this up and I need to finish up this video. So um, anyways, have yourself an amazing day. And uh, don't forget, if you've been still listening, go to Unbound Excel, go unboundgravel.com and um, put this on your calendar for next Friday, 3 p.m. CST. Uh, my race starts. And so that's when my um, tracker, you'll be able to track me on the course. So you'll be able to track me on the course, watch me going, moving along and where I am. And I'll need lots of uh, positive vibes from you guys on the course. So thanks a lot. And I'll see you later. Bye.